Well, the Ebola crisis continues to dominate our medical news. Joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Mudu. Lino. Hello, Van San. Hello, everyone. A U.S. citizen suspected of having Ebola has tested negative. The man fell ill after visiting West Africa and is in quarantine at Nyaho Clinic in Accra. The blood tests were conducted in the city and were confirmed a negative by the Ministry of Health. Health officials say further tests will be conducted. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the National Institute of Health. He elaborates on some of the reasons why this outbreak has been difficult to contain. Well, the major challenges are going to be having the people of the country and the health officials and the general public to understand the importance of personal protective measures. And people are not seeming to even admit in some cases, that there is a problem, not believing that Ebola is there. There have been some very unusual perceptions that it's the health workers that are actually bringing the Ebola in. And there have been some backlashes against, for example, Médecins Sans Frontières, who are trying their best to contain it. And it's a lack of resources to, to get the appropriate care and treatment. We're seeing uh, some serious lack of attention to the kind of protection that you need when you take care of a sick person. That's one of the first challenges. The second challenge is, is the fact that it is unlike previous outbreaks where they usually are in very remote, underpopulated areas of a country, usually in Central Africa. Now you're in a cluster of places where there's a high density of population. When you have a densely populated area, you might have people who are coming into contact with others that are actually spreading it before they even know it's Ebola. Now on a positive note, a young Ebola patient in Guinea returns to its village after receiving treatment for doc from Doctors Without Borders. Sa Simbiano is very happy. This is the day he returns to his village in southern Guinea after spending 13 days in a Médecins Sans Frontières treatment center. He just recovered from Ebola, the deadly hemorrhagic fever. Simbiano is one of the lucky ones. He has recovered well, and so we have just told him that this test shows he is in the clear. So we have just given him the good news. We will give him a decontamination shower, and after that we will take him to the village. The World Health Organization says this outbreak of the disease in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone is the most widespread and deadliest ever. More than 450 people have died from 759 known cases since February. Ebola causes fever, vomiting, bleeding and diarrhea, and is up to 90% fatal. Highly contagious, it is transmitted through contact with blood or other fluids. Fadima Diawara, a health promoter working at the MSF Center, says Simbiano can help spread the word about the disease. We want to show him the center so that when he gets home, he can be a witness for us and help us with outreach. Upon his return to his village, Simbiano is greeted by his mother and receives a certificate of recovery from MSF. Local and foreign doctors are battling a deep-rooted fear and lack of understanding of the disease, which has driven dozens of victims to evade treatment and made it harder to track patients. Officials have committed to better surveillance to detect cases of the virus, enhance cross-border collaboration, better engagement with local communities and closer cooperation with the UN World Health Organization and other partners. We hope for more good news on this outbreak. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thank you for joining us today, Lino. Be sure to watch for Lino Mudu every Tuesday and Thursday for the latest health news in Africa right here on Africa 54.